What did 20 goals last season mean to you in terms of confidence as you head into this season? Uh, yeah, I think it's um, it's a good accomplishment. Obviously, scoring 20 goals in any league is is good, but especially in you know in the NHL, it's uh, you know it's something to be happy about, and it's uh, you know it's a confidence booster knowing that uh, you know, that's possible, and you know I want to be better this year. You had a chance to combine with Jeremy Bracco to to score a goal in the recent scrimmage. What are you seeing from him as he tries to make that next step? Yeah, to be honest, I think. Uh, He's probably one of the better passers in, on our team, and, and he's trying to make that leap. And you know, I've been there, and I'm just gonna you know try to help him out as much as possible. And and uh, you know, obviously we got Brooksy there too, who's a tremendous player as well. So it was uh, fun playing with him. He just sees the ice really well. He's uh, his skating isn't the best, the best <laughs> that we've ever seen, but his his vision is something else for sure. I mean, um, you know, just looking at that and all the plays that he makes, you kind of envy him. So. Um, I'm just trying to get open, and, and then he's going to find me. Brandon has said that he anticipates that the team's going to have a captain this year. Um, what sort of dynamic does that, how does that change the dynamic in the room, if at all? You know, is that a positive development? No, I don't think it really changes anything. Um, we got a lot of, lot of um, you know, guys in the locker room that could have that letter on their chest, and, you know, I, you know this, year, this year we're going to choose one, and then whoever it is, is you know, that's obviously a huge honor to you know, be the captain for um, the Toronto Maple Leafs. But, um, no, I don't think it's really going to change the atmosphere at all. Mentally, to get a contract signed in the offseason, knowing where you're at, what does that mean to you as, as you try to improve your play on the ice and, uh, right, you know, obviously make good for that contract? Yeah, I'm excited to stay in Toronto for, for another three years, and this is where I wanted to be. So it was nice to get it out of the way and could kind of focus on, um, you know, working out and being at the rink and um, getting comfortable. So it's uh, it's been a good summer so far. Austin's one of the guys in the conversation for the captaincy. Have you seen him grow in? In terms of the leadership role, is he more vocal over the years? Uh, he's he's always pretty vocal. He's a funny guy, but um, for sure, um, you know his his presence is felt, especially on the ice, but in the locker room as well. So, um, like I said, we don't know who it's going to be, but whoever it is, it's uh, you know it's going to be a huge honor. What about Morgan Riley? He's been an alternate captain. Just break down every guy. I, <laughs> so, or, you know, uh, with Morgan. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, what do you think Because yeah. he's been an alternate for the last couple of years. He's been an alternate for a while now, and then obviously he's been here since the start. You know, he's been drafted, and he's gone through, uh, you know, he's been in the Marlies, and um, he's just a tremendous player, great leader, and um, it would suit him well. Last year's camp was in uh, Niagara Falls, uh, this year in St. John's. How important is it for the Leafs to travel around the country and travel around to these smaller communities and showcase this type of talent to the communities? Yeah, I think it's huge. Um, just, you know, kind of coming here, didn't know what to expect. Obviously, Niagara is pretty crazy, but, um, you know, this is something something special for sure. And, and uh, it just shows that we have fans everywhere. And it's a, it's a great feeling. And obviously, um, you know, we want to play as well as possible and, and uh, you know, make everybody happy. And it's, you know, just seeing them and, and giving us support is, is huge. Austin said he's still getting used to the lingo here with the and some of the accents too, like nippers and stuff. But anything catcher here so far? No, not yet. Um, for, for now, I'm, I'm good, but I'm sure I'll hear something along the way. You guys were a fast team in the past few years, and now you add Tyson Berry and Kerfoot. Seems like fast is a lot faster. Yeah, um, for sure. Um, you know, those guys are, are very talented and, and are quick, especially Kerf, you know, watching some of his highlights and, um, you know, just played against him too. I, you know, I, I, I could barely keep up with him. So it's, uh, you know, it's fun to see.